Okay, get what you need. So um, this is an art project that you can do yeah. for the crayon wax extension. Oh, and, and one, one thing. Okay, yes. Um, it doesn't really matter what shape your crayon is. I've got a triangle crayon right here, and I'm not going to use it. Okay. It, yeah. So, so can I tell them the materials? Okay. So you need a piece of construction paper. You need some scissors. You need either glue or tape. Um, and then you need a piece of wax paper or parchment paper that is folded in half. And, and then, and, uh, okay, I've got this. Give me a second. And then um, for crayons, I was telling Celine earlier, I think this is what she wants to tell you, that old broken crayons are just great for this. Don't use your nicest crayons. Yeah, yeah. So, so here's what, what we're going to do. We're going to take a piece of paper. And now, just me. Can I can I explain it, Celine? Okay, you can add a comment if I forget something. Okay, okay. Um, and then the most important thing for this is you definitely need an adult because what we have right here is um, warming up. We have our iron; it's real hot, and it's on an ironing board. Uh -um. So, be really careful about touching that. Okay. All right. So, Celine, you have not done this before, so that's why I want to show you and everybody at the same time. Yeah, I have done a version of this. Before. You've done a version. A uh, hair dryer works. This also oh. works with a hair dryer, and and if you kind of for, or get that the iron is really hot, just imagine the iron is like a thousand little tiny tiny hot glue tips that you're not oh you're not supposed to touch. Yeah, so it would work with a hair dryer too. Um, either way, so you take uh, we're gonna make the frame first. So this is what the frame will look like. You want it to be open, so it can open. Can I tell them what we're doing? Today? I want them to see it. Okay. So to make my frame, I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to fold it in half again. I want to be really careful to cut on the side that has the crease and I'm going to cut out my rectangle. So here's my rectangle. And then when I open it, I should have two attached frames. So here's our frame. And then when you cut your wax paper, you want to make sure that your wax paper neatly fits inside your frame. Oh, and one more tip. When you're done, you can add like little pieces, little pieces of tape here to secure it. Right. That's why we need our tape and our glue. Okay. So now I'm going to let Celine decide um, which crayons do you want. Ooh, I love to melt crayons. Okay, so which crayons do you want to do? So I'm going to have this folded in half, mm -hmm. and we're going to shave some crayon pieces onto here. So which ones do you want first? So let's see. Watch let's the iron. Start. Watch the iron. Thank you. Ooh, so this it, one. Ooh, it had a little hot blast. Let's start with it, the red one. It's pretty hot. So it, then, then the orange one. Okay, so it's helpful to peel a little bit of the crayon paper. Um, so you can because you don't want crayon paper because yeah the crayon paper is not going to be what you want you don't have to peel the whole thing and then I'm just taking a scissor and again this is one that I also want the green one and the blue that an adult is helpful to have so I'm actually going back and forth with my scissor and you can hear it's making a sound and it 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 gets little pieces of the wax and the pigment scrape off. So back and forth with my scissor. I'm gonna go with back and forth with my scissor. You can get a scissor if you want or want to, Celine. Okay. So there's a little bit. Do you want it rainbow, Celine? Is that your idea? Back and forth with my scissor. Okay. So there's the red. And it doesn't matter what order you do it because it just gets melted together. So you can do some. You want orange, and I'll do some green. It's, it's a little bit tricky to do. When we do this at school, Ooh, and this I usually use a grater, um, like you might grate cheese with, but it ruins your grater. So um, I don't want you to do that at home because then if you try to use your grater, it doesn't work as well. So the yeah, scissors, may be mad. so yeah, the scissor method works. It's just a little bit tedious. So back and yeah, forth. Yeah, and it's best to use adult scissors because kids' scissors aren't that sharp, but. Okay, if, if so, you, so if you, you want all of these colors? Yep, every single one. Okay, so we're going to work with a little bit of speed now because um, our iron's ready. Do, 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 do. 
but you don't need that many because what's going to happen? They're all going to blend together. It's yeah. not going to be very cool if you have, like, all the colors of the rainbow. Right, so it's going to be kind of a stained glass effect. So we have red, we have green. Shred it over the... Um, wait, wait, can I, can I do something? You can do something. I'm doing it for fun. Okay, so you want to shred it over the wax paper because otherwise it'll get all over the floor and then you won't have it. Oh, and exacto knives work too for this. Yeah, but exacto knives, you have to be real careful. You don't hurt yourself. So, okay. Oh. So that looks good, actually. Let's. Um, can you do I have this? What do you oh, want? I haven't had yet. You more apricot? Okay. It's th that's what it's called. Okay. So you want. I'm gonna to... keep some of my apricot crayon. Yeah, you don't need all of it. We're just using the edge. Are you happy, or you need more? That's good. Okay. So oh, don't want to get the big chunks. In you there. can have a big chunk. Okay, then the big we'll chunk. We'll see works. what happens. Wait, I just want to put a little blue in there. Okay, so she's gonna put a little blue, and then we're gonna as you can see, this is melt it together. Seuss blue. So over the over the paper, and if it's a couple yeah. chunks, it's okay. And the best method to do is stick the scissor here and push with your thumb. You can do push that, or you thumb. can open your scissor. Push with your thumb. <laughs> you can open your scissor all the way, and use the edge of your scissor and scrape it away from you. Yeah, but the push thumb thing is better. Okay, so this is the part the adult does, because we do not want you to burn yourself. Or your, or your or anybody's hand. fingers or hands or anything, or any body part. And then, it doesn't, it, it, it's a little hard to see with the camera, I think, but I'm melting yeah, it, it together. Yeah, it the same. So, Celine, I'm going to actually, can you move for one sec? I'm going to actually unplug the iron right now because I don't want to leave a hot iron on. Um, and I'm going to change our view. So the the paper that I used is parchment paper. And can... wax paper will work better. And it will be a little bit clearer than our parchment paper. But it's still cool with the parchment paper. Yeah, but what happens when you take it apart is... So you can open it up. And... You can open it up. Yeah, Oop. that's okay. Don't don't get upset. So you can open it up, and if you have the parchment paper, you can flip it out, and it's kind of cool. Or like I said, the wax paper works really well too, because then it'll be clear, and then you'll be able to um, see it without having to open it. And then I'm very carefully putting it in my frame. Yeah, and since the and now the crayon is thin, it's very fresh. So it's a little fragile. I'm going to tape the top and then I'm going to tape the bottom so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm going to close my fr the frame. And then you can either. Oh, and if you have empty space, you can make like a little drawing. You could draw on it. You can make it mixed media. And then I'm going to take a little bit of tape on the parts of the frame that are open and close them. You could also use glue. And then I have but... this. The only problem with the glue is you'd have to put like something weighted on it, but it can't be too heavy, so it's like crazy yeah. And... yeah, I think that this is this is the kind of thing where you could use this glue or a glue stick, and I think it'd be. Yeah, but you have to use a little tape to stabilize it. And a little bit of tape to stabilize it. And can I hold it? You can hold it. Do do. And this and is then what it, the other side looks and like. And then we have this cool art piece. And that's what you do. Do we have any final oh. comments, Celine? Oh, and one final thing is I've got a suggestion for a kind of related activity. Mm -hmm. So you can, like, take a large frame or a piece of paper, paper, you can do this, do this, but you can take, like, you can glue the crayons to it and you can take blow dryer and you can do Oh, yeah, this, so you can do... Um, that's what I want. If you want to do crayon art, um, which is something we've done before... Selena's right. You can melt crayons with a blow dryer and have them drip. So that's another cool related activity. See you later.